Hello folks, yesterday I posted a video on YouTube where I was showing people how to build this little thing, just a sort of double drop down system. And it was a ghastly tutorial, it was really far too fast and it was kind of a showing off fest if I'm being honest. So the reason why I did that is because somebody had been emailing me saying could you do this and I figured okay and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off the Trongate framework. However, although I'm happy with the thing technically, I mean we went through a whole bunch of stuff, I, I think that as a tutorial it was pretty worthless because it was just too fast. But uh, just so you know, one of the things that I was doing in the tutorial, just now that we can talk about this in a sensible manner, is I had quite a lot of JavaScript going on and I'm not the fastest JavaScript developer in the universe. So what I was doing was a lot of things like I'd be talking for example and you'll see, you see how I'm looking at the screen? So I would be looking at the screen just like we're doing now and I'd say let's do a GET request and I'd do that and we'd have a GET request, right? Uh, and I'd say something like, right, now I'm going to do something like, and my fingers are lost, I'm fumbling, here we are. I'd say, and again, I'm looking at the screen, I'm, look, I've shut my eyes, I'd say, let's do a set interval, you know, let's do a console.log or something like that. But just so you know, all I was doing there, you probably figured it out, was just shortcuts. This is something that I teach at Speed Coding Academy. The doors are shut just now, by the way, but because I made a mistake and used third party libraries, huge mistake. So I've got about 300 videos that need updated. But in any event, shortcuts is something that you can all take advantage of. It's free of charge. As long as you're using a modern editor, you can do this type of thing. And uh, it's, it's really something that will dramatically improve your productivity. So that's my recommendation. And I would say if you're really interested in building up development speed, get serious about shortcuts. And the best tips I can give you are just learn one or two per day and you will be amazed because what you'll discover is that you only need about 10 of them and that's you. You're fine, you know, and it's mostly just the same old things over and over again. So that's my tip of the day. Thank you very much indeed. Now, I have an announcement to make about the channel generally. I've said this before and we must never say never, but at this point in time, I feel as if um, the live streaming is fantastic, but I'd like to, I've done a lot of live streaming on YouTube. I'm probably gonna stop doing the live coding sessions on U YouTube, at least for the time being. Now, I've said that before and I always come back. So again, we must never say never, but if you want to watch me coding live, I'm probably going to be doing that on the Twitch channel moving forward. So the URL is twitch.tv forward slash Glasgow Dev. I don't think you need to sign up or anything. You can just turn up. It'll be exactly the same as here on YouTube. Well, there's only two differences. One is that Twitch has less of a time delay and the other difference is that we can play nice music on Twitch without getting copyright strikes every five minutes. So if you enjoy the live streaming and you want to watch the live coding, that's where I'm gonna be, twitch.tv forward slash Glasgow Dev. I don't think you need to sign up, you just turn up and there we shall be. All right, thanks a lot, catch you later.